The drill hole tool is used to place a round hole in a panel. Many options are available with the drill hole tool, including countersinks, blind holes, and threads. During this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to design each of these. To create a basic round hole, I will first select the Insert Drill Hole tool by clicking the icon at the top of the screen. Next, I press M to position the hole and enter the coordinates. When I hit OK, the Drill Hole Properties window appears. I enter the diameter of the hole and hit OK, and it's now positioned on my panel. For a countersunk hole, I again press M and enter the coordinates. It is important to consult the manufacturer's data sheet to determine the correct countersink for your situation. For this demonstration, I will use a standard M3 screw. Once in Drill Hole Properties, I will select Standard Countersunk Screws from the Countersink drop-down box and will then select M3 from the adjacent drop-down menu. This will automatically adjust the size of the hole. It is important to make sure that the countersunk depth does not exceed the thickness of the panel. Otherwise, the screw may not attach securely and will not fit properly. If you are using a non-standard screw or cannot find your screw within the menu, check the Manual Sinking Parameters box and manually enter the information. Again, this information is available from the manufacturer's data sheet. I am now finished with the countersink, so I hit OK to place it on my panel. Lastly, I will create a threaded blind hole on the back side of the panel using a number 256 thread. Blind holes are typically done on thicker material as there needs to be a minimum of one half of a millimeter of material remaining. I will position the hole like before. Then in Drill Hole Properties, check the boxes for Blind Hole and Place on Reverse Side. I will then enter the depth of the blind hole, making sure to leave at least 0.5 millimeters of material. For this blind hole, I have chosen a depth of 3 millimeters, leaving 1 millimeter of material on a 4 millimeter panel. To add threads, there are a number of standard options, such as the M3 screw used earlier in the metric and metric fine menus. Most non-metric threads can be found in the UNC Unified Course menu, which is what I will be using. In the drop-down box to the right, I select the number 256 screw. I hit OK, and my threaded blind hole is now positioned on the back of the panel. I have now created a drill hole, a countersink, and a threaded blind hole on the reverse side of the panel. 